This is only grammar. You have this page also in your This is page Let me get This is page 146. Okay, so you can um you can go to your to to that page. Okay, I'm going to read you the chart or the grammar chart that says there. Verbs in subject and object relative clauses. We have in relative clauses who, that, and which can be the subject or object of the verb. Use a singular verb with a singular subject and a plural verb with a plural with a plural with a plural subject. Okay, and we have we have these two types, right? A singular with singular and plural with plural. That's pretty easy to remember. And we have the subject relative clauses. Defining. There is a TV show. We're talking about one in particular. That arrange plastic surgery. You see? Now, this is the singular. Singular and singular. Now let's go to to the next ex, the next example. TV shows TV shows that arrange plastic surgery are often criticized by doctors. This is another way to say the same information, right? And we have non-defining celebrity magazines which need to att attract readers. Readers, sorry. Publish some incredible stories. Oh, sorry, sorry. Celebrity magazines, which need to attract readers, publish some incredible stories. And the next example. My brother, who loves celebrity gossip, reads celebrity magazines all the time. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Yes, okay, I said non-defining, sorry. Girls, I'm so sorry, I'm really, really distracted. Okay, those are the examples for non-defining. And then we have the object relative clauses. Defining people read about the clouds. I'm interested in the people. Who, oh, sorry, people read about the clouds. That celebrities were. Another example. I'm interested in the people who my favorite actor dates. Or the other way around. I'm interested in the people that my favorite actor dates. And we have non defining reality shows, which I never watch, by the way, have millions of viewers. Now, says which clauses that comment on previous clauses can be subject or, or object? Relative clauses as a subject which takes a singular verb. This one. Celebrity magazine sometimes invents story, which is pretty shocking, you see? Some people believe everything they read, which I find very scary. That is. Um, singular. Common errors. Don't repeat the subject or object in the relative clause. Why? Because it's understandable. Aunque no le pongan el, el, even though you don't write or you don't repeat the subject, it is understandable. Okay? And then we have the actor who was on TV last week has, it says, not the actor who he was on TV last week. Now, it's the actor who was on TV. You don't repeat the he because you understand that it's he, the actor. Otherwise, it would be she, the actress, right? If it would, if it would, if it would be she, it would have been the actress. But it says the actor, and the actor is male. And then we have the actor that saw TV last week, that I saw on TV last week, 
not the actor that saw him on TV. These are incorrect. Okay, let's go to complete the sentences with a, with a plural form of the verbs in parentheses. In some cities, you can go on a celebrity bus tour and you have to ask or you have to you have to complete this part, okay? This is for you right now. This is your classwork. Eso es lo que tienen que hacer. Do it, please. Answer it. Lo voy a hacer un poquito más pequeño. You have your grammar on top. Tienen su grammar acá arriba. Um, did you, uh, girls, did you have, did you get the chance to, to get the book? Ellie, tú no tienes tu book, ¿verdad? You have your book, Ellie? Somebody send it to you? I'm sending a, bueno, Shareni and Elizabeth. Meanwhile, ustedes como no tienen su book, tómenle un screenshot a esta grammar para que así puedan hacer el, el, este, el exercise de abajo. Ok, eh, Catalina, acuérdate que todas juntas, ¿eh? Le estoy mandando ya el mensaje al teacher Mario. You can see? Okay, let me try. Ready. Ah, you can see the questions. No. Okay, you finished taking the screenshot? Elizabeth and Catalina? I wrote only the verbs. Okay, that's fine. You can take a screenshot. Puedes tomar una impresión de pantalla de esto. Okay. You did. Okay, Emilia. For chat? No. Um, hay una tecla que dice im, impr, pant. Bueno, el, la mía sí dice. Otras dicen imprimir pantalla. Clic, clic a esa y te va a imprimir la pantalla. Te vas a, a Paint o a Word y le das en pegar y ya y solamente recortas esta parte donde ves la grammar. Le das en herramienta recortar para que así veas la grammar. O lo haces grande si quieres y solo lo vas a leer. Ah, oh, you have the book. Ok, yes for chat. Ok, here we are. Listo, se las dejo. There it is. Jose Gabriel, we're doing this exercise. Uh, I'm going to ask you for patience, or I'm going to ask you to be patient. Te voy a pedir que seas paciente. Because you just log in, okay, and they already do doing this. Ya le están haciendo, okay, Jose Gabriel? Don't worry, just wait there. 
and welcome by the way. Welcome, good evening. I really hope that you're fine, Jose Gabriel. Oh, don't worry, Jose Gabriel. Yesterday we didn't have class. We have class only Tuesdays and Thursdays. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I was going to tell you, but you weren't online. Yeah, you weren't online because yesterday we didn't have class. Okay, great. Back and up. Yeah, sometimes it's like that. You know? It happens. Like for example, in my case, in my case, uh, Jose Gabriel, usually the the computer log me log me out. But like for example, I notice when she's about to kick me out of the of the room because my when I have my my camera on, it it, it turn it turn it off. So I know that okay. She's needing more signal, so maybe she's kicking me out, and I turn off camera. That's why sometimes I do that. And then I turn it on again. And then sometimes I see some lines in my camera, and I turn it off. And when I turn it on again, it's fine. I mean, it's, it's not like my computer is broken. It's like, I don't know. Computers are weird. Maybe she didn't want to work. Oh, you don't have it either. Okay, I'm going to send an, um, a, a, actually, I just sent a text, a text to Mr. Mario and told him about the link for the books for Sharemi and Elizabeth. And you too, I'm going to tell him that you don't have it, you don't have it either. Okay, great. Um, I mean, teacher is not online, but I guess that uh, as soon as 
personas y as soon as he enters the or he gets my my messages he's going to send you the the link or maybe he's going to send it to me so i can share it with you i don't know okay but i'm going to to answer the text okay Okay, Emilia says, in some cities you can go on a celebrity bus tour, which take you I forgot that that it's easier like to check them like all together. So go ahead. Okay, only Emilia has Okay, Elizabeth. Okay, I'm waiting for somebody else, and that's it.
Okay, Elizabeth. I think that I need to write in singular according to the verb for third people. Yeah, that's why I was like, mm. Because remember that the is doesn't mean plural. We have a rule that says for third person, like Elizabeth says, I think that I need to write in singular according to the verb. For terceras personas, she, she write it down. But it's the third, the, the third, um, the third people, yeah. Person, it's actually third person. Like, for example, the bus here says, in some cities, you can go on a celebrity bus tour, which we are not talking about you. Says, which takes you? Because what is taking you? The bus, right? And the bus is a thing. It's not a person. In this case, adelante. Oh my God, okay, excuse me for a second. Okay. Yes, Sharini. For example, if I t I'm going to show you I'm going to show you my my cell phone. Right? I'm going to show you my cell phone, so that's fine. I'm, I don't have to change the verb. But in case, like for example, she's going to show, she's going to shows you, or to show, yeah, she's going to shows you her cell phone. The one who's going to show you the cell phone is she. So you have to change the the verb. I guess that. I mean, this is a basic uh, rule, but I guess we hadn't we hadn't seen it in, in class. Obviously, because this is the two course, it's because that <laughs> you kind of remember that, right? So here, in some cities, you can go on a celebrity bus tour, which ¿A quién se refiere al which? Al bus. So el bus, ¿qué hace? How how do you how do you use the verb with bus? Take or takes? You use takes because the bus is taking you. The bus takes you through the neighborhoods and famous people and shows you, one more time, shows you their house. Reality shows which I never watch, which I never watch in these cases, which here. Okay, so it's non-defining. Ah, okay, no, that's fine. It, because it says non-defining, which need to attack the magazine. It doesn't say need, so it's fine. Need, in this case, take and show. Sorry. You show you their houses and shows you in this case because it doesn't have the the witch a celebrity who in this case is like the first example a celebrity who 
wants to avoid photographers have to keep or has to keep. Has to keep. His or her plan secret. Secret. Come on. It's all of you, right? A ver. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Emilia. Well, Jose. He just got in. Michelle and you are complete. Okay. Once. Has to keep his or her plan secret. Um. Someone, someone who number three, someone who is yes, because here there isn't a confusion, right? It could not be plural. Someone who is obsessed with a celebrity often tries to look like that person. Try to look like that person. Famous people, famous people who prefer or prefers. Famous people who prefer to protect their privacy try. Sorry. Try. To keep photographers away from their home. Prefer, yes. Is photographers happy? Mm -hmm. No, uh -huh, aha, yeah, 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 yeah. Is? But it cannot be is. Oh yeah, I understand. I was going to tell you, but it says there want. Why do? You, why are you putting is? A celebrity who wants to avoid photographers has to keep his or her plans secret. Number two. Yes, has to keep. As we have, yes, has to keep a photographer who chase or chases. Chase. Chases. Okay, you're basing yourself in the chases. Yeah, but you're basing in the, in the, well, he just says a photographer. Non-defining, my brother who loves, yes, chases, it's defining. A photographer who chases, in this case, because it's defining that it's photographer, chases a celebrity in the car or in a car is, there is no other option in this one. It's just reckless in, in the verb to be. Yes, yes. I mean, there is. Yeah, um, Jose Gabriel, but in this case, like for example, intake, it depends on the, in the grammar here, it says that if it's defining or non-defining, you see? And we have here the examples. You see, love, read, need, publish. When it's non-defining, we have them like this. You see, we're basing in this one. I know that the rule, it's a basic rule uh, for the simple present that third persons always get the S. But in this case, it's, it's marking it like that because we are, we are following certain structure. Celebrities often appear on talk shows, which... Not pay them very much. 
Okay, I want to see what would you write here. Remember, we use an, aux an auxiliary verb here. Very good. Dante, excellent. I was interested because we don't have the auxiliary verb here. So I wanted to know if you remember to use the auxiliary verb. Don't pay them very much, but... But, but give them, give them valuable publicity. Okay, number seven, fashion designers who, one more time, we need a, a oh yes, we don't need that, the, sorry, I was thinking that it says need, not need, okay. Okay, let's check or let me check. Oh, yeah. No, it's with S. No, yes. Sorry. Here is the same the same example. Which who needs publicity often lend Lend actor clothes to wear on TV. One popular designer who mm, yeah, but remember that here says fashion designers and here's one popular designer. Ah, oh, sorry. Okay. I saw you you send me the other the other answer who work who works a lot with celebrities often and lend people her clothes to wear on TV. Actors who one more time, this one is plural. Number eight. Get actors who get arrested often uses the publicity which just actors. It's like this one, fashion designers. One popular fashion designer here, actors who get arrested often use the publicity which just shows. Here, yes, it is show. There is not such things as bad, uh, as bad publicity. Okay. And let's go for next exercise. This is only like a use or an exercise that where we can uh, practice this this grammar is structure or this uh with the clause with the clause or the relative clause with which who that and the verbs how are we going to rearrange the verbs we have object relative clauses subject relative clauses and non defining defining and non defining okay so let's go up to the next now this is um this is the past yeah, we finished this this exercise and let's go or let's continue with the next exercise. Or actually the next topic because this was for this was the thing that I was supposed to send you for homework, but like I told you, this is was um it was complicated because I usually the, the books from Dropbox, but right now my cell phone is, is not helping me. So I have to, 
I have to fix it so I can send you a uh, screenshot of the homework. Otherwise, it's really like really difficult for me like to to send you the homework because I don't have your email like to send you the picture or the link to email. I have here um a link for a book, but I'm not sure if you can open it because it's linked to the Dropbox to my Dropbox. I don't know if you if you can get into my Dropbox and and download it or, or what. But you cannot get into my Dropbox. It's not allowed. So I'm going to, do, like I told you, I I already asked Teacher Mario for your for your book. Okay. So confusing. Yes, I know. How to learn this topic more easily? Okay, I'm going to I'm going to look. We're going to do the thing. Um, tomorrow, I think that I have time in the morning. I'm going to make a presentation, a PowerPoint presentation, and I'm going to share it with you. With um, simpler, because I think that's the thing, with simpler exercises, okay? And then we're going to retake this exercise, and we're going to make it. We're going to do it all together, okay? What do you think about it? Good? You say, Kelly said, how to learn it more easily? And Shannon, it's so confusing. Yeah, because I know that, uh, uh, you say like, yeah, it's like, it's, it's, it's third person. But like you saw, we have some examples that they don't follow the rule of the third person. Okay, so I'm going to make a PowerPoint presentation uh, in a simpler way, so you can you can get uh, simpler exercises, and then we get to the to this part again. We can, or you can figure it out. We're going to break it down a little, okay? So right now, and guess what? I have a really bad news for you because. I'm going to start a topic that it's not so easy for for many people. It's actually kind of uh, hard. I really hope that you don't have that that problem here. And it's not because it's it's hard. It's because it's like this one, kind of like this one. Just let me find it. I don't know how to find it. Um. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to look for it in a different way. It looks like I don't find it actually.
Gary. I don't have it anymore. So I'm really, really sorry. It this has never happened to me. It has never happened to me. But it looks like I erased my file. You can hear. Can you hear me now? Can you see me now? Yes, my internet is a little bit, my signal is poor, sorry. But can you hear me? Yes, okay, so. I will you that I'm really but it looks like I raised my presentation. I needed some space, and right now I was uploading some things, and I usually I erase my things from the from the cloud, so. There is more space for another teachers, and I erase my my presentation. Just let me upload it again. Okay, well, it's already, it um, it's already getting up low. I don't know why you raised that. Okay. Sorry, con escribo dura mucho para irse la información. Oh, Elizabeth, that's because it has poor signals. Okay, like for example, um, when I upload the when I upload a file or something like that, it depends on my signal or my computer how fast it's going to to be uploaded on the on the cloud. In your case, like it's I mean it's your signal and it's your signal, your internet signal, your computer that is going to find how fast it's going to is going to upload something. Okay. Let me know when you see something on right here on the on the board. Well, my board. Yes, you can see something. Okay, great. The thing is that I had like low signal, so 
I have to be asking you because you told me ah, we cannot see you, Miss. Okay, here we have uh, some general explanations for this for the conditional. Los conditionals or conditionals are also known as the if clauses. Why the if clauses? Easy, because if you see here it says zero conditional and we have like a short explanation and we have if plus present simple. I'm going to to explain like this the the last topic, okay? You're going to to realize that this one is like really easy. The first conditional has the if clause and then the structure, right? But if you check the conditionals or if you pay attention to the conditionals, everyone if are using the if. So you may know this as the if clause too. But they are also known conditional. The conditionals in this case we're going to start with the zero conditional. The zero conditional. I like the zero conditional because this one is about general truth and general habits. How are we going to form the zero conditional? That's easy. If plus present simple plus present, uh, sorry. Um, if plus, uh, plus present simple, comma, and once again, another another uh, sentence with present simple. Can you tell me or can you give me an example of a general truth? It's not clear the word. Okay. Because of my internet, I have once again low signal. Okay, I'm going to show you the board. La, 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 la. Here. I don't like the green, so I'm going to use blue. Purple. I'm going to use purple. Like this. Here it is. Okay, I'm going to write zero conditional. What are the zero conditional? Okay, the zero conditional actually express a general truth. I'm going to write it here. General truth. A general truth. How are you going to express a general truth? I say. Oh, sorry, it's the other way around. A general truth. How am I going to express a general truth? Easy. What I have to do first, I have to use my if clause. I'm going to put it like this. My if clause. That's the first thing I am going to use. Then I'm going to write a sentence in present simple. Then I'm going to use a comma and then I'm going to use another sentence in present simple. When I say general truth, what do you understand for general truth? Um, okay, let me explain this. A general truth is something that it cannot change. Never. Okay? Like, for example, I can work enough, but don't get a lot of money. Right? That is usually the problem in the world, right? In Mexico, we work enough and we don't get enough money. So that couldn't be a general truth. A general truth would be like, um, would be like, uh, if, if you,
if you if you put water on fire it boils right this is like something that it's always going to happen it doesn't change like for example If the sun set, it gets dark. If the sun sets, it gets dark. Okay? It is impossible that the sun sets and we still have light on the world, right? It's a general truth. If you put the water on fire, it boils. If the sun sets, it gets dark. So, what you're going to do right now is that you're going to give me an example of zero conditionals following this structure and well you have this example but you're going to give me one example each of you okay do you have any question before we start doing our, our exercises Shareni? Okay, you say I will try. If I plant a seed, I'll get a flower. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to let you to write. I'm going to open the the board for you. Okay, go ahead. Type it here on the board. Like for example, like I say if the water, well, I told, I told you if I put the water on fire, it, it boils. But it could be like for example, if water reaches 100 degrees, it boils. That's a general truth. It will always be true. There can be a different uh, result. Like for example, um, it's different. Like if I'm allergic, for example, to to shrimps. If I say, if I eat shrimps, I get sick or I am sick. Uh, that couldn't be a general truth because that will always happen only to me because maybe I am allergic to shrimps. Maybe you are not allergic to shrimps, so that won't happen to you. It would happen to me because I am the one who is allergic. Okay? What happened with the seed? If you say, if I plant a seed, I can get a flower. Yes, but what if I plant a seed and I can get a tree or a bush? I can get another thing from a seed, right? There is things, uh, it has to be a thing that cannot be different for anyone. Like example, this doesn't look like a general truth, but it is. If you eat too much, you get fat, right? It doesn't matter if you have like a fast metabolism. If you eat a lot or if you eat enough, you get fat. Mm. Mm. Gabriel, uh, there are some people who study like really hard and like enough and they don't improve their English because, I don't know, <laughs> they don't, uh, they don't practice or something like that. So that couldn't be either a general truth because that could be true for you, but it, it cannot be true for somebody else. For example, Um, it's like something that will always happen, that it cannot change. If I eat healthy food, I, 
I get poor because healthy food is expensive, right? Sorry, Sharing me, you're still, um, if you are sick, okay, I'm going to help. Why are you all writing in green? You're all writing in green. Why are you all writing in green? You mix blue and yellow, you get green. Yes, this is a general fact. You cannot get pink or purple. You will always get green. Different shades of green, but it will always be green. Definitely will always be green. Okay, if you eat too much, you get yellow. Yes, well, it would be more like you get bad, but great. Jose Gabriel, are these yours? Okay, I'm going to change the color so you will know who I am talking about. The blues. Who are the blues one? Or who are the blue one? Elizabeth? Who are the blue ones? The one that I just put in blue. If I practice every day, lessons are perfect. Mm. Can you write the name for who, who typed these ones? The what is about the color? Can you tell me, please? Okay, I still don't know who the, the blue one, but this one. Okay, good. I'm going to put them here. Let's see. And I'm going to use pink to show you that you are correct. Who, whoever typed these sentences are correct. 
if you see the moon, it's white. Yeah, it could be too. The sentence of the color is my boss. Why you? <laughs> if I, if we read more, we will be more fluent. Um, yeah, it could be sometimes. Okay, I'm going to. We're going to make a, a an exercise about zero conditionals right now. Okay, so you'll get to. So you get to know the uh, conditionals, conditionals, conditionals here. So you get to know uh, yes, you can see me. So you get to know how uh, different examples of the zero conditional and how to form them. Okay. Just let me know when you when you're able to see it on the screen. Okay. Like it's loading. It says zero conditional. Here it is. Okay, here we are. Forget it. Uh, my camera scroll turned off. Okay. Says for example, and here we have an example. Not rain. Not rain. Slash the flowers. Slash die. And you have here. If it doesn't rain, the flowers die. That is the zero conditional. I type. I type. You give me a minute because uh, I don't know what happened. My micro and my video turned off. So here we have uh, some sentences. Let me. There it is. There is eight. I will be better for work if I wake up late. Better for work? Uh, I don't think so. Jose Gabriel. Uh, you are not better in work if you get late, right? It's not. It's the other way around, right? Your boss gets mad. Hey, why you wake up so late? So, I will be, ah, late. Yes, I will be late, late, no better. Ah, okay, okay, yeah, I was like, no, your boss is going to get mad at you. <laughs> you won't get the promotion if you get late. Okay, and here we have, sorry, I was with examples. Yeah, I mean, Probably you lose your job, so don't do that. If I, if it doesn't rain, the flowers will die. This is a general truth. It will happen. If it doesn't rain, the flowers and everything die. And you already did example, right? If I wake up late, I will be late for for work. I'm going. Uh, I am no. If I wake up late, I'm late for work. Because this is zero conditional. Remember that it's present and present. You see? The flowers died. In this case would be, wait. No se adelanten, eh? Don't do the other one. Hey, wait. Wait up. Because I'm going to assign you the, the sentences you're going to do. Wait. Okay. If I wake up late, I get... I get late for work. Okay. Ah, no, I. I'm late for work. Mm. If I wake up late, I'm late for work. Okay, remember that it's 
simple present and simple present. Okay, so right now I'm going to type here, it's one, two, two to nine, and you are only five. So I'm going to, Emilia, number one and number two are for Emilia. Number three and number four are for Jose. Jose G. Number five and number six are for Shareni. Number number seven and number eight are for Nidia. And at last but not least, number nine and number ten are for Elizabeth. Okay. Elizabeth. There it is. Nobody's missing, right? Yep. No, nobody's missing. Okay, I'm going to to make my make it like smaller so you can see all of them there it is okay remember present simple and present simple not will not any other um, after the the comma not other structure okay remember to type the number of your sentence go ahead do it Okay, Emilia says, number one and number two, Emilia, if I wake up late, I'm late for work. Ah, I give you the example, <laughs> sorry. Okay, um, if my husband cooks, he burns the food. Very good, Emilia. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to write, it's like when you, when we were uh, little. Very good, Emilia. Going to put your your tick there, your check mark that you did it fine.
always, always, it's always in capital letters too. It's always capital letters, that's why. Okay? If you smoke, you get yellow fingers. Okay. If the children play outside, if the children play outside, they don't get overweight. Oh, Cecilia. We're waiting for Sharini. Sharani, if you mix water and electricity, you get you get shock or you get a shock. Very good, Nidia. And if people eat too many sweets, they get fat. Very good, Sharani. And we're only waiting for I'm waiting for him and he's not online. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I was waiting for Jose. Ah, oh, here you are, Jose. I was talking about that you weren't online and I was waiting for you. But do you have your work? We wait for you, Jose. You're the only one who's missing. Can you hear me? Oh, what? I finished. Sorry, slow internet here. Ah, okay, okay. No, and and some and so is mine because Elizabeth, the text that you sent, Elizabeth, you sent. I finished, and then you sent your text. It wasn't. I have to update on. Yeah. I understand. Don't worry. You know what has worked wonders to me? Desfragmentar la con the computer. When you do that, uh, this platform runs better. So, I mean, not right now. Don't do it right now. Do it later on, okay? Don't do it right now. But later on, desfragmenta computer, and it will get pretty good. Uh, but, Gabriel, do you have your, can I do some, can I do some, 
Okay, let's ask uh, Jose. I mean, it's uh, it's their is his sentences. So if he says that yes, you can help you can help him. Um, for me, it's fine. If he says yes, miss, let her help me. Yes, Jose. If <laughs> if. What's the meaning of F, Jose? Okay, we're going to take that as a yes. Okay, Jose, probably you can send the text. Yes, he's offline. <laughs> Hi, poor Jose. He's, he's struggling with his computer. Okay, Emilia Catalina, go ahead. Do number three. If somebody wants to, somebody wants to do the other one, go ahead. Number three, Shareni, you want to do the number four? Or Elizabeth. Type them. Okay, so it's okay. If he just. Uh, he was like struggling with his computer and trying to answer us, and he just get to write yes. <laughs> Jose, <laughs> Jose, we are helping you. Okay, your classmates are helping you because we understand that you're struggling with your computer. So don't worry. If Julie does not wear a hat, she gets sunstruck. Sunstruck is um, golpe de calor. That means sunstruck. But sunstruck is like this. Sunstruck. Okay. Next one. If children don't eat well, they don't. They don't be healthy. Okay. They don't be healthy. Okay. Very good. Le pusimos to to tick. We put a tick on Jose. Let's continue. Now we finish our zero conditions, right? Do you have any doubt here with the zero conditionals? Remember, are things that our general truth says general truths and general habits. I don't know how good is, is your general truth and general habits. If plus present simple, comma, present simple. If you add two and two, you get four. You cannot get something else. If you, if you add two and two, it's one, two, three, four. It will always be four, okay? So let's go to the first conditional. The first conditional is something that it's possible or likely. Think in the relative future. If present simple, comma, will, and infinitive. That this could be like a future simple to say. If it rains later, we'll stay at home. If children don't eat well, they ah oh no this um this is your example right from the other exercise okay um this first conditional is used to talk about things which might happen in the future because of course we don't know what the future holds for us um but. This describes uh, possible things or possible scenarios which could easily come true or the ones that are more likely to happen. Like that example that says, if it rains, uh, if it rains later, we'll stay at home. Or I'm going to tell you another example, like if it rains, I won't go to the park. Or if I study today, I'll go to the party to, tonight, or 
If I have enough money, I'll buy some new shoes. Or if I see her, I'll tell her. Now, for example, when you give a message, okay? There is um, a confusion like the, when we were working in the in the past exercise that it was zero conditional. Uh, there is this um, a, a situation between these two. For example, the first conditional describes a particular situation, and the zero conditional describes what happens in general. Okay, like for example, in the zero conditional, if you sit in the sun, you get burned. That's a general fact. For example, um, I mean, if you sit under the sun, you get you get a uh, sunburn. If I sit under the sun, I get sunburned. If everybody sits under the sun, get sunburned. Okay, because that's the natural consequence of sitting under the sun. But for example, the first conditional, if you sit in the sun, you'll get burned. This is like, um, it's not like a premonition. It's more like, uh, like when your mom is telling you not to do something, right? Do you remember that kind of uh, things that they, if you, um, if you're still, if you stand up in the, in the edge of the of the roof, or I don't know, if you stood on the edge, you're gonna fall. Okay, that's part of the of the first conditional. That's the first conditional. Like if she said it's harder, she'll pass the exam. That's an example for the first conditional. Because I think it is possible she will sit it harder, so she will pass. It's like the examples that you were giving me, Gabriel. Do you remember? How uh -huh, you will pass the test. Very good. Uh, like the one that you, who told me uh, about, uh, somebody told me about, uh, that I told you, well, that's idea, but sometimes it doesn't happen. That's the problem of Mexico, right? If you, if you work, if you work hard, you get enough money, right? But, that it's not a general a general situation could be a possible situation like for example if you work hard you'll get a promotion because i believe that it's possible that you get a promotion because of your hard work okay of course possible in the future like elizabeth say and that's something that i do believe if you study frequently I'm, I won't say hard because hard is like day and night. Okay, I'm going to say frequently. If you study frequently, you will pass your test. Okay, you will pass your test. So let's go to the to the example. Remember, we use if plus present simple, comma, will, and and infinitive. The infinitive is the base form of the verb. That it's the infinitive. Okay? That's why I call it um, simple future. Kind of like the simple future. Okay, I'm to open the board and I'm going to type in green. First. And I'm going to to type the structure here. If plus present simple comma will and infinity. Infinity. Okay. Remember, possible or likely things in the future. Go ahead. I'm going to share the, the board with you so you can give me one example, just one example of things that you believe that may be possible. Okay? Go ahead. Here in the in the board. 
Elizabeth says, Why? Why did I do it here in the chat? I have to do another sense now. Remember to use different different uh, colors, okay? Different colors when you're typing. Ah, oh, thank you very much. And write your name. Very good. If I win the lottery, I will travel. Very good. If you play football, okay. If I, if I do exercise, I will be healthy. Okay, here, just got the be healthy. Give me a second. Sorry. Okay, if I I will be healthy. Excellent. Very good. Okay, if you play football, you will be famous. Yeah, yeah, that's what you think. You believe that, and that's good. That's great. Okay, we're going to just to put it together because it's so it's just one word. Okay, next one. Okay, if if I wake up late, I will miss my first class. Very good. But just remember that we have this rule about the capital I, okay? It's always in capital I. Very good. Okay, excellent. You got this. This is easy, right? Because when I was explaining the, the other conditional, you were trying to give me this kind of exercises or this kind of conditional. You were trying to give me the, the first conditional instead of the zero condition. So right now I'm to open an exercise. This is going to be the last um, last work that we're going to do. One more time, I'm going to give or I'm going to assign an, a number or maybe two numbers from the 1 to the 10, and you're going to do uh, sentences, okay? Don't try to to go ahead and, and do some exercises because probably you won't get those exercises, okay? Wait till I, till I write the number, okay? And you see... What exercises you you get to to do? Okay, there it is. A hundred percent. No, not one hundred percent. Okay. Um. That is just fine. Okay, first conditional exercise, put the verb into the correct first conditional form. Okay, here you're just going to, we are five. Okay, one to five, go ahead, come in. Sorry, someone is knocking at my door, so uh, that's why I said come in. Okay, number one is for Nidia. Number two is for Elizabeth. Elizabeth, number three is for Emilia. 
number four is for Jose, and number five is for Sharini. There you go. You can start. You're here, Jose. Great. I saw that you were, you know, outside. Okay, just give me your example and we're going to get done. Oh, sorry. My signal is slow or I have a low signal. Okay, I think that Mr. Mario just Okay, teacher Mario told me that he's going to send the link to the, he's going to send the link to the, to the chat, to the group chat, so we only have to wait, okay? Emilia, number three, let me get my pencil. Here is my pencil. I'm going to read. <laughs> Here it is. Okay, Emilia. Page number three. If we do not see each other, okay, or if we don't see each other, tomorrow we will see each other next week. Very. We will see each other next week. Very good, Emilia. Elizabeth, if you get back late, if you get back late, I will be angry. Very good. Excellent, Elizabeth. Nidia, if I go out tonight, I will go to the cinema. Very good, Nidia. Excellent. Jose, if he comes, he comes, I will be surprised. Oh, just be careful with the with the surprised and excellent. You get double double check because I mean it happens to everyone but you know that it happens to you. Very good, Gabriel. Excellent. Two checks. There you are. Okay. And Shareni, did she already participate? Yeah, right. Shareni, if we wait here, we will be late. Very good, Shareni. Sorry. Like it's a short sentence. I didn't see it. Okay. Elizabeth, number six. If we go on holiday this summer, we will go to Spain. If we go on holiday this summer, we will go to Spain. Okay, very good. Now. Um, the class for today is over. We're going to continue the next class. Um, I'm going to send you an exercise for first conditional. Okay, and, and first and zero conditional. I'm going to send you an exercise for homework. I promise <laughs> that I'm going to send it today.